All right, we have developments against one of the most deadly cancers, and it's a twofer. Our latest understanding about why so many of us are so overweight, obese, and a fix. For both, the man, Dr. Mark Hyman, host of the podcast, The Doctor's Pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. See what he did there? Good to have you back, Doc. <laughs> Happy holidays. Good to see you, Chris. Happy right. holidays. So let's start with a little news and then go into a little perspective. Um, what do you make of this potential vaccine for skin cancer? Comes from Moderna. People will think, ah, COVID. It is yeah. that technology, uh, mRNA um, technology. They say the results have been good so far, a targeted cancer vaccine. Do you buy it? And please explain it. Absolutely. First of all, the feel of cancer has really been slow to provide cures. And immunotherapy, which is using our body's own immune system to help cure cancer, was a great advance. The personalized vaccines against your particular tumor is one of the next greatest advances in cancer therapy. Because if you have, let's say, breast cancer, there may be 10 women with breast cancer, each of them might be quite different. They're not all the same just because it's breast cancer or colon cancer or pancreatic cancer. And so developing a personalized vaccine against the proteins of that particular cancer and that particular tumor is going to open up a whole new field of, of cancer therapies that are using vaccines against cancer. And it's personalized. So it may take a month or two to develop your personalized vaccine for your particular cancer. And that's very exciting. Here's the part I don't get. They're talking about skin cancer. And in the description, they say, and the vaccine, uh, once you know created for you, will make the return less likely. What does that mean? They have to identify it, cut it off, figure out what it is, and then they give you the vaccine? You mean make the recurrence of the cancer less likely? Yeah. Yeah, because well, it's like anything. If you, if you, for example, get a measles vaccine, you're not likely to get measles again. So if you get a vaccine against that particular tumor with that particular genetic profile or that particular protein, you're going to be less likely to get it. And if you can put it under remission, it's less likely to come back. Still early, but they're saying it's promising. That'd be great because we lose way too many people to something that hopefully we can fix. Now, you've got a book that's coming out at the end of February that's called Young Forever, Tips to Stay Young Forever. Look how good he looks, by the way. And by the way, I did the <laughs> podcast uh, with Hyman. Not only is he taller than me, but he's in obviously better shape. Uh, and it's a great conversation. You can listen to him there. He's got his own podcast. Oh, no, it's true. Um, let me put up the list of foods that you say everybody should be eating. I've never heard of any of them. Um, oh. Well, I've heard of wild or organic strawberries. Tartary, <laughs> tar tartary buckwheat, uh, turmeric with cur cur curcumin? Curcumin. 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 Gur yeah. Green tea with lots of EGCG, uh, broccoli sprouts. Right, so I get the first one and the last one. What is this stuff and why? what will it do for me? Well, what's really exciting, Chris, is that uh, we have co-evolved with plants and used their chemicals to activate our healing pathways. And so these five things that I mentioned, six things, are, are found in longevity research to activate our longevity switches. So for example, wild strawberries or organic strawberries have fisetin, which kills zombie cells and helps DNA repair and activates autophagy, which helps your body clean up damage. Broccoli sprouts, for example, have glucophorin, which is a powerful detoxifier anti-cancer molecule. Uh, Himalayan tarry buckwheat is an ancient form of buckwheat that has quercetin, which has been shown to reverse biological age. So we have these incredible compounds that are found in nature that we can use to activate our own pathways. Uh, green tea has ECGC, which is a compound that uh, is, enhances longevity. I was in Icaria in Greece, and uh, they drink wild sage tea every day. And this is very high in the same compounds as green tea, and they live longer than most people in the world. So we, we have the opportunity to use a, a whole variety of plant compounds to activate our longevity switches and pathways. And there's over um, 25,000 of these in plants, and the Rockefeller Foundation is spending about $200 million cataloging these powerful medicines in food, and that's why food is medicine. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.